Now to the eastern region, some residents of Kota Four are protesting the incessant cases of armed robbery attacks in the area. The protesters mostly market women and commercial drivers hate the Tafo uh, to Adorso Highway to demand police action against these robbery attacks. Their action follows multiple robbery attacks on residents in the past week. The robbers in the most recent case attacked market women who were returning from our front planes and made away with millions of Ghana cities. They say police in the area lacked the needed logistics, especially patrol vehicles to deal with the menace. Correspondent Kofi Sian is on that beat for Joy News and now joins me on the phone. Good afternoon to you, Kofi. How many cases has been recorded so far? Hello, Kofi Sian. You're on the pulse. Hello. Hello, Kofi. You're on air Hello? and I'm asking how many cases have been recorded so far? Well, I saw the residents claim that so far in the space of a week, about five of the robbery attacks has been reported. Uh, the recent one was uh, an attack on some market women who were traveling from Kota to the Afram Plains to do uh, business as usual. So when they got to a point on the highway, the robbers accosted them and made away with their money and other belongings. So they feel that the security agencies in that area have not been up to uh, the task, and they are calling on the security agencies to beef, beef up so that they can ensure that the menace is brought to a halt. Have there been any arrests yet? Well, so far, there hasn't been uh, any major arrest. The arrest they made was some a month ago when three of the of suspected armed robbers were arrested. These armed robbers, uh, according to the police report, were of Fulani descent. So uh, let me say that in about a month ago or so, three of the armed robbers or the suspected armed robbers have been arrested and they are still in court. All right. Um, I'll have you hold Kofi Siam and speak with the DCP for the area, DSP Opong is the uh, commander for the Impreso District Police Command. Good afternoon to you, DSP. How are you dealing with the concerns being raised by residents? Yes, uh, uh, it is true that uh, we've had uh, an intermittent uh, robbery attack on these traders on the rules we are talking about. That is Kuwutafo uh, Adoso Road, Kuwutafo uh, Kutoso Road, and uh, others. But the police, um, we've been doing our best to curb the menace. We have intensified patrols on all the rules to ensure that uh, drivers and market women who apply that route do so with peace without any interruption. In fact, just this afternoon, we've had uh, uh, an interaction with the leadership of the drivers unions, the various drivers unions, within Kweu, uh, we've made them to understand that it takes the two of us to fight this menace. They have a role to play and we have a role to play. Of course, it is their duty to also be on the lookout and also inform us of suspected uh, persons for us to take action on them. Sometimes they could, uh, co uh, they could, a person will come and board your vehicle and you, if you look at the mannerism of the person, you could see clearly that this man has something to hide. In a situation like this, they shouldn't hesitate to bring it to our notice and immediately we take action. Well, the well, problem we've had is that, you see, this uh, area, if you know very well, is a forest area, vast forest area and very mountainous. These attackers that we believe to be of uh, full name Hessmen, they are full of full of men, we, we believe, resides on these mountains, a place that nobody goes. It is even difficult. They come out only to attack and retreat into the forest. And if you enter there, they see you even before you see them, and they find a place and hide. It is very difficult to find them, 
And the only solution to this problem is to intensify patrols on all the roads, and that's exactly what we are doing as we speak now. So between the time this incident came to your notice and now, what concrete measures have you taken? In fact, uh, one of the measures we thought could help was to also have a uh, dialogue with uh, this, uh, the leaders of these Fulani men. You know, these, men, these health men were brought in by some uh, owners of this, the cattle. So we said that the owners of cattle should also look uh, or look at uh, within their uh, place and see those of uh, questionable characters and report them to us. Because, of course, if you don't do that, and eventually we say we are sacking, it affects everybody. So they are also going to help us to, to get the bad ones among them and, uh, and, and question them. Aside that, as I said, we have intensified the patrols. We've intensified the patrols on the road. As your reporter told you, we've made some arrests. We've detained some people. They are in, in remand, others in prison custody, and others. But still, uh, it continues. The menace continues. So we will intensify the, uh, the, the, the patrols on the road to ensure that these people don't have a field day. And I think that is the only means by which uh, we, we, we can uh, reduce, if not to curb, the menace. All right, many thanks to you. DSP Opong Ajari is in Priyasu District Police Commander. And Kofi Siao, uh, you heard DSP explaining how the police intends to tackle with this, but how persistent is this uh, incident in Kota for? Hello? Yes, uh, Kofi Siao, I'm asking, um, is this the first time this is happening there? Well, the area has been notorious for some of these armed robbery attacks. Uh, it has been uh, happening for some time now. Uh, I can say that since I grew up and been in the eastern region, uh, this robbery attack has been incessant, especially in the Afram Plains enclave. Whenever there are people traveling uh, from Afram Plains to the Nkoko area or from the Nkoko to the Afram Plains area, they are usually attacked by some of these um, armed robbers. And, Usually they make away with their belongings, and especially what they look out for is the money on uh, this uh, traveler. So that is the situation here uh, in the eastern region, and especially in the core part of the region. Very grateful, Kofi Sian, for the update.